Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's another pitch meeting in the MCU. Which one this time, Dan? We're on to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Sheesh. We got to be getting close to the end of these. We got to. Well, I'm sure, once again, that uh, everything's perfectly fine here. But if they found something wrong, let's go find out what it is. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. So, you have a Doctor Strange sequel for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be called Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Oh, boy, I bet we're gonna see some wacky multiverses. Oh, you know it, sir. Oh, man. Briefly. What? Glimpses <laughs> of them for a minute or so, they're gonna flash by. Uh -huh. oh, oh, okay, that's all right. Yeah, and then we're gonna pretty much be in the same two, three universes for the whole thing. The person who can jump universes can't control her power. Oh, that's too bad. So who is this character? America. Captain America. But that's not possible. At the end of Endgame, he turned into... Uh, Joe Biden. No, this character's <laughs> name is America Chavez, and she got so scared of a bee that her mom's disappeared. What? They're gone, sir. But, okay, but what about this America character? Tell me about her character development. I just did. Oh, all right. So <laughs> America it? has the power to open portals between universes, but it only happens when she's really scared. Bummer. And so at the beginning of the movie, she's with this alternate Doctor Strange, and he gets killed by this big eyeball tentacle monster. Oh, very exciting. Yeah, and they end up in our dimension, so our Wong and our Strange fight this monster. Oh boy. So they're fighting and slicing, and eventually they do this special hand move and stab it in the eye. Probably should have led with that move. Maybe. Yeah. So then Doctor Strange goes to see Wanda, but it turns out she's the one who's trying to capture America. What? Why? Well, she wants to use her powers to go be with her kids from WandaVision, but in another universe. I thought we kind of had her work through all that in WandaVision. Nope. Yeah, but then she read an evil book, so that just undid all that, and she's pure evil now. See, Damn. this is why I don't read. So it turns out she's the one who sent that interdimensional tentacle monster thing. How'd she have access to that interdimensional being? Unclear. Wait, hadn't she like made her kids up or something? She had, yeah. Can't she just do that again? No. And I guess she wants to go see Vision too, huh? No. Why not? Because. <laughs> can't she work with America to find a universe where the Wanda's dead but the kids are alive? No. Why not? So the movie can happen. Alright, well it seems like this is happening. That's a lot. It is, and so now Doctor Strange has to protect this girl from Wanda. Man, so what does she do? Well, Wanda attacks and kills a bunch of sorcerers and Doctor Strange and America zip over to another universe. Oh boy, what's going on in this universe? Universe. Oh, it's real wacky, sir. Red traffic lights and green traffic lights are switched, and pizza is balls. Oh. No, like they're balls of pizza. Oh, okay. okay. So eventually they get brought in front of the Illuminati. Oh, who are they? Oh, we're talking Captain Carter, Maria Rambo, Captain Marvel, Black Bolt, Professor X, and Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. Oh, they're all from things. They sure yes. are, sir. <laughs> oh, boy. Sometimes I recognize things, and my brain releases fun chemicals. <laughs> oh, yeah, sir. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with some of the things you said. Fantastic, sir. So Doctor Strange tries to warn them that Wanda's gonna come kill everybody, but they're like, yeah, no, we can handle her. Uh-oh, Wanda's on her way. She is. She does this thing called dream walking where she can control alternate Wanda's. Not good. So then Reed Richards, the smartest man in the universe, is like, Wanda, you better back off because Black Bolt here can destroy you with one whisper from his mouth. One whisper from his mouth? That's a weird way to phrase that. Where else would a whisper come from? But then Wanda's <laughs> gonna be like, what mouth? And his mouth is gone. Oh, he was setting her up for a one-liner. That's why uh -huh. he said it's so weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then what happens? Well, then Black Bolt blows his own mind. I feel like it's weird that the smartest man in the universe told her exactly how to kill him. Hey, shut up. And then she kills them one by one, and she can alter reality, so it's pretty brutal. So what happens to Mr. Fantastic? Oh, spaghetti? Oh, Fantastic Spaghetti is tight. Sure is. So what does she do to the others? Well, then she decides to stop altering reality so we could have a little action scene, and she makes something fall on Captain Marvel and crushes her to death. That doesn't seem like it would hurt Captain Marvel. Yeah, but it does, because this is just a cameo. And what about Captain okay. Carter. 50% off. Oh, that's actually a pretty good deal. So now Strange and America and an alternate Christine Palmer have to run away from Wanda through these tunnels and they're closing blast doors, but she's just going through them. Uh-oh, so what do they do? Well, eventually they close a blast door behind them, so then they stop and turn around to see if she'll get through. Why wouldn't she? She got through all the others. Yeah, well, they're gonna stop at this one, because Wanda's gonna do a fun little jump scare. Oh, very scary. It is. So eventually Wanda catches them and captures America. Oh, no. And so she uses America's powers to send Doctor Strange and Christine to this destroyed universe where there's this evil Doctor Strange. Uh, so Strange has to fight an evil version of himself? Yeah, he does. They're gonna have this musical fight. Oh. Okay. Like a rap battle? No, like throwing musical notes at each other with magic. Oh, okay, gotcha. I like my thing a lot better. <laughs> well, that's too bad, sir. So then Doctor Strange uses that evil book to dreamwalk into the corpse of that dead Doctor Strange. Oh. Yeah, so then he's gotta go zombie fight Wanda with a bunch of souls of the damned, and Christine's gonna kinda coach him on what to do. How does she know what to do? Un 
nuclear, but then they realize to defeat Wanda, they have to use America's powers. Well, that's going to be hard to do since she doesn't know how to use them. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely, Barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, Doctor Strange tells her to believe in herself, and so... You know, that does the trick. Oh, oh okay. okay. Well, great. Yeah, the power was inside her all along or whatever. So she sends Wanda to another dimension and sees her kids, but they're scared of her. So she realizes she's kind of a monster. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, so then she collapses a temple onto herself. Jeez. So at the end of the movie, America is training to be a sorcerer, just like Doctor Strange. She's not trying to look for her moms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, she's not. Well, okay, then. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, I think it sounds like a lot of fun. I'm just trying to think of some cool Reed Richards casting, right? You know, something that'll get people talking. Any ideas? Uh, nope, no ideas. Wait, do that again? Do that again, but look to your right. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I know exactly who to get. Hmm, okay. <laughs> so be it. Nobody cared. That's your basis for that. Okay, here. You, you should care about this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> So it's been a while. I think Reed Richards, wouldn't he like uh, the original like Stretch Armstrong there from the Fantastic Four? That's the one. Yeah. Okay, that yep. guy. Yeah. It's been a long time. So <laughs> It's been a while since the Fantastic Four came out. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, forgive me if I forget who a few people are here and there. I don't think I even saw half of those things in the in the theaters anyway, so. No, I know I didn't. But I'll tell you what, they really uh they really made freaking Wanda Maximoff like evil for no damn reason here. This is the kind of the one thing that really bothered me about this film. It's because I liked Wanda, I liked her powers, how strong she was. I liked her as Scarlet, Scarlet Witch in the film, I didn't mind her necessarily being evil. But the fact that they turned her just like totally off the rails evil, unredeemable, and then kill her off at the end really kind of bothered me because I really liked her character and wanted to see her become a bigger part of the Marvel Universe. That's too bad, right? Yeah. And you know, we've seen movies and shows like this before where they'll go absolutely crazy over things that never were, that never were. Yeah. You know, it's like, yes, you had children in a dream, but they were not real. You're doing all of this for no reason, well, essentially. Well, apparently in the course of the film, they are real. They're just in another dimension somewhere that she has to get to. Yeah, but in the reality you live in, yeah, it's like, you need to come back to it. But then there's what this Illuminati that they call, that they so-called there, mm -hmm. where, where the guy with the big brain is over there talking about how it's like, he can kill you with a whisper. And it's like, why would you say that? <laughs> you're absolutely right to call him out and ask why, you know, if you're so smart, why would you say something like that? He's like, yeah, you know, thanks for the advice. Okay, well, that problem should be solved. Now I just got to deal with you. <laughs> and then he, she killed Captain Marvel with a falling object, which really shouldn't have done the job as powerful as she is. Or just maybe that one Captain Marvel's not as invulnerable as the others. I mean, it is an alternate universe. Yeah, anything could anything could happen there, as they as they pointed out, because because you had what traffic lights that were like go on red and mm -hmm. stop on green. You know who else you had just kind of wandering around out there was uh, was uh, Bruce Campbell, if I <laughs> yeah. remember correctly. And uh, I believe Sam Raimi actually had his hands all over this movie. So I believe he did. The, yes, the, uh, the director. So you could kind of see it in the Deadites there a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. I think I prefer the Evil Deads, honestly. Yes, of, I would of do. his works. So yes, but it's Sam Raimi, and that's why it's like, all right, I'll give you more credit than usual because that's just who this is but again cgi took over on this there was a lot of special effects in this film which granted because of the things you were doing you needed some of that for sure but you could have toned it down a bit too yeah i mean i would have preferred you to stay in the multiverse i think because that would have been really cool just like if you're going to do this much um cgi mm -hmm. it's like go into that multiverse many times don't spend any time in one central area right keep going Right. Definitely, there's a lot of potential there, because there's so many different multiverses, so many different versions of Doctor Strange. You could have had so many other cameos besides the ones that you did have. Probably would have cost you a fortune, but you could have done it. It would have been more fun. Yeah. But yes, it would have been a lot more fun, kind of like the more recent uh, Deadpool film. Like, there's so many cameos in that that you don't even realize are going to be there. And they're not even important to the story, but they're there, and it makes the movie fun. Exactly. One that I still need to go see. But, yeah. You know. But you know what? I really want to see Bandit Cumberbatch do a rap battle now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why, just because they threw musical notes at each other? No, because the producer brought it up, and I thought it was actually a really fun idea. <laughs> he'd probably do all right, because he's a very talented actor. Right. So I imagine he'd probably uh, whip something up. He'd probably do, he could do it in a British or an American accent. I'd watch it either way. Right? I don't know. I really do like. I really do like him as an actor. I hope he does uh, well in his future in his future uh, movies there. Yeah. But fam, I think we're gonna call it there. 
As always, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bells, check us out on those things up there, and like and subscribe again. And uh, if you have time and you feel like you want to support this channel any further, I hope you'll hit, consider hitting that join button and, uh, and uh, become a member, guys. Uh, but as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. Bye.